This video is going to be just a little longer than usual. We're going to show how to create a dike from beginning to end. So we're going File, New. We're going to use a design template. We're going to pick the default. And this is going to bring up the Drawing Startup Wizard. We're going to navigate uh, to a folder. We've already put the points file in uh, for this project. We're just going to call it Dike. And we're going to save that. We're going to put ourselves in a state plane 83 projection of Missouri East. That'll allow us to do something with Google Earth at the very end. So now we're uh, set here with a coordinate file and a drawing file. And we're going to triangulate and contour. We're going to load some settings we've created before where we can just come from an XYZ file as we create the surface. So let's uh, write out the surface. We'll call it existing. We're going to save that. And then we're going to say, OK, we have nothing in the drawing to select. So we're just going to enter past that and then pick our points XYZ file. And uh, it's written out the surface. So let's draw the boundary of that just to give us a uh, picture of where we're at. And uh, here we are. We're going to zoom extents. And uh, there's the edge of that uh, boundary of the model. Let's go look at it in 3D Viewer here on the, the Surface File Viewer. We'll pick that in. And now we can navigate around in here and see what our model looks like. We'll drag up and then twist it around the z-axis and take a look at it a little bit here. You can see we can zoom in, zoom out, um, a number of tools with the 3D Viewer. Let's exit out of there. And normally at this point, we just go uh, to the Draw Locate Points command and enter in our coordinate information for our design points with Enter and Assign. But uh, for sake of time, we're just going to import those points. I've uh, put them in a text file. So let's select the text file, set our format to match that file. Here we go. Comma delimited. Oh, there, we've got to grab it. OK, and let's draw the points. So we'll go to points, draw locate, and draw all. And now we've got those four points um, in our drawing. Two represent the beginning and end of stationing. Two represent the top of the dike. Um, so you can see they're here. So let's use a uh, draw 2D polyline and draw between points one and four for the baseline for the project. So let's go one to four. You can see that draws a line. We've set ourselves on layer center line or CL uh, for that one. Let's draw one more for the top of the dike. So again, we'll go back to draw 2D polyline. <clears throat> this time, let's put ourselves on layer dike and uh, go from two to three. And now we've got that line. It's sitting right underneath the other one. So we'll just uh, um, freeze dike for the moment. And we'll create a, the banner, a center line file for this project. So we'll go polyline to center line. We'll name it CL of the dike and save it. Pick it. You'll see the arrows indicate the direction it's going to go. Starting station 0, ending station 1 to being 500, which is exactly what we have been given. So now let's go uh, thaw the dike and freeze the center line and then put ourselves on the dike layer. And what we're going to do is offset left and right this uh, dike line by three feet and then we'll connect the ends and then we'll have our shape for the dike. So let's go offset three. We'll go pick the entity. We'll go both sides. And now we've got the offsets. Let's just remove that middle piece. We don't need that anymore. We'll delete it. And now we'll go ahead and draw lines from the uh, ends of these. Draw a 2D polyline. And we'll use our snaps. We're just making sure we're on the same layer here so that all these lines wind up on the dike layer. So we're using end point snaps to uh, snap to the ends there. We'll go down to the other end. Do the same thing. We'll repeat the process. When we're done here, we're going to have four lines that represent the outline of the top of the dike. Here we go. So endpoint snaps again, END, END. And now what we need to do is quickly join those into one continuous line. So we'll use Edit, Polyline, uh, Utilities, and by Trace. We'll just accept the defaults, pick the line, Enter, 
enter, and now we've got joined four entities. That's the top of the dike. Let's set the elevation for that. We know it. It's 352.5. So we'll go to 3D data, um, set the elevation. We'll pick our line after we enter in the 352.5. And now the line is at elevation. And then we can go to surface, design pad template. You might want to just uh, freeze it or pause the video here and check these settings because these will be the way you want it set for yourself, probably. And we're going to say OK. We're going to pick that. We're going to go to the existing model. We're going to go at 1.5 in fill, 1.5 in cut. And uh, we've got volumes. Um, it's already calculated those. Let's put them in the drawing. So we'll use that button there and we'll pick on screen a location where we'd like those. Uh, we're going to say east and exit out of here. Now we're still in the command. It's going to ask us a few other questions, but we'll just show you what it did here. There's the report. Now it's asking, do we want to uh, redesign that? We're going to say no. We're, our, that's a fixed height, so no. And now we want to create a new surface for the dike. So we're going to say uh, not merge. We're just going to create a brand new surface completely of the dike. So we're going to say that's the design model. And we're not going to contour it now. We can do that later if we want to. And now we've got a design model. Let's go view that in the 3D Surface Viewer. We'll pick design this time and take a look at it. And you can see the shape right away of our dike. Now, a little known thing, we're going to go to the Model tab over here and right-click on Surfaces and click Add Surface and click the existing tin. And now look, we've got the existing and the design superimposed on each other. Nice little feature that a lot of people don't know about. So let's exit out of here. And then we're going to produce some output. So now let's go to Sections, Quick Sections. We're going to use our center line that we created earlier. So we'll pick that by typing CL. We're going to go 25 foot intervals, left and right 200 feet. Now let's go pick our existing and design. And then down at the bottom, we're going to want to set the output file. So we're going to set our existing output to existing and our, our uh, design output to design. So we'll just type those in here, existing, and do that one. And then the second one's going to be design. We just want those to correlate to the surfaces that we specified up top. So they've been written out. We can go take a look at those. If we go to input edit section file, pick which pick design and then reference the existing and then our reference center line is the center line of the die. And we'll go, oh, we got to go pick a section first. All right, and then pick edit. And here they are. Now we can step through these by pressing F3 or just clicking on the next button. You can see we've scrolled through them all. We're at the end of the stations. We can exit out of here. And if we want, we can go draw these now. So let's go to sections, draw section file, specify our design, add in our existing. We've got our center line specified. We can say OK. We can go left and right 200. We can uh, scan the file to set the defaults. 200 left, 200 right. OK. Pick on screen where we want to start. We're going to stack them vertically. You can see it's annotated the cut and fill. I've told it to do that. There's a number of settings that you can set here. So now that we've got that, how about if we go look at a quick profile? So quick profile. Again, we're going to set our existing and design up. And we want to come from a surface. We're going to go center line is the center line of the dike. And you can see that it pops that in. Now look at the triangle up top as we drag our mouse along. It's showing us where we are on the plan view. And now I've picked the draw button. Let's go ahead and say OK to this. And we're going to draw a profile over here to the right. We'll zoom up on that. You kind of see what's done. And again, there's a number of settings here. So here I've told it to annotate the elevations of the existing and the proposed um, at an interval here. We can go calculate volumes from our sections. We already have volumes from the surfaces, but we can now 
take a look uh, and do volumes from the sections too if we want to. And uh, we'll just go ahead and grab the existing and proposed and we can hit the display button. And here are our volumes from sections. And we can put those in the drawing if we'd like to. We'll just pick a spot and there we go. Exit out of here, there's our volume report. Now you may remember earlier we set the zone we were working in was Missouri East. Let's go take a look at what these things look like in Google Earth. Let's go export Google Earth file. We'll say OK here. We're going to create a file called Dyke KMZ. Grab our 3D elements and uh, superimpose them on Google Earth automatically. It'll zoom right up on them for us. Hey, it's Shane. If you like this video, select like below. If you have suggestions for future videos, put something in the comments. Or you can send me an email. Don't forget to subscribe, and then you'll get notified of all the future videos we create here. Thanks.